We've already had a look at the basic filters, but it's now time to have a look at the advanced filters. And this is a hugely powerful piece of equipment in your arsenal whenever you're dealing with selecting a large amount of information. I'm going to play you. I have this file up. I'm going to play it to you. It's my hymn tune that I'd like to use called Camberwell, and I've only got the first verse and instruction here. So let's have a listen to it. Now for me, there are a couple of problems in there, and we're going to use the advanced filter to fix them. Let me have a quick look at the advanced filter first of all. It's on the home tab in the select area, and we're going to go to the advanced button here. The shortcut is control plus alt plus shift plus F. So it's a four finger shortcut. How often you would use it determines whether or not you want to learn that shortcut. Personally, I've never bothered learning it. I'm just going to use the button on the ribbon. And here is the advanced filter. This dialog box basically lets you select anything in your score and as many instances of whatever you want to select. You can do it all from here. Let me show you what I mean. Up here, we're looking, this determines, this box here determines what area of the music we're looking at, whether it's notes and chords, rests and bar rests, text, lines, clefs symbols, etc. These boxes here determine what it's going to search to find your selection in and which voice you're going to use as well. So I'm going to start off by looking at notes and chords just to let you see the options that are in here. You can select normal notes, grace notes or triplets with whatever type of note head you want. So if you're working with for example percussion music you might want to select all of the symbol music, which is going to have note head 2, which is the crosses. Which note in the chord is it? Top, middle, bottom, second, third, or fourth, whatever. Whatever type of note head you can have, whatever pitch you can specify, so you can have every instance of a G, or every instance of a G in octave 4. Or you can have all notes between point A and point B. What note values are there? I'm looking for just crotchets, or just quavers, or just semi-quavers. So it would have to be, for example, I could combine that with the single notes. So I'm looking for every G that's a quaver. You can go down to that level of detail. Or you can say, whereabouts in the bar is it? It has to be anywhere, or it could be on the first beat, or the first two beats. You can specify all that. You can also specify if it has to have an accidental or an accent or a whatever on it as well. And that's just for the notes and rest, notes and chords. If we start looking at the rests and bar rests, another whole bunch of, of options there. And the same for all of these, you can decide exactly what you're going to look for. It's a very, very powerful bit of kit, is advanced filter. So I'm going to cancel this just now. And think, what are the problems? Well, I don't like these two bars here because I've put these accents on, but it just sounds a wee bit aggressive for a hymn tune. Have a listen again. There. For me, that's just too aggressive. It's my own fault for putting the accents on all the parts, but I can fix it very quickly. I could now select just these four bars. But I need to be careful because at the end of the score, there's accents there as well. And they've got the same problem. So I'm going to not select anything. I'm just going to open up Advanced Filter. 
make sure I'm looking at notes and chords. I'm not interested in text at the moment, but I'm interested in the notes and chords. So I'm going to bring up the notes and chords page. And what I'm looking for is every note in the piece with an accent. So I want to leave all the normal notes. I want to leave all the default settings. All these set at any because any pitch, any note value, anywhere in the bar. And all I'm going to say is I want to have that. So just notes that have got that type of accent on them. Select them. And those notes are now selected. There they're there. I can now from the keypad, or from the, the actual keypad on the computer, just deselect the accent. So now that introduction should play back a lot more smoothly. Yeah, without these big hard accents that I didn't really like. So that's one way that you can quickly solve a wee problem. Now there's another problem. Let me play from here and listen to what happens at this point in the, the second bar here. Have a listen. What happens again here, over two bars, listen. So what's happening there is the accompaniment is all pretty much disappearing at the start of these crescendos. And that's again is my fault because I ran a plugin to try and enhance the playback of these. Just for your information, the plugin I run was this one here. But my settings that I chose weren't the right settings. When I run that plugin though, if I go to the view tab and switch on hidden objects, this appears. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm actually looking at. All of these are MIDI messages. This is, looks like one big grey blob, but if I just grab one and pull it out, you can see that it's actually text and it's a MIDI message. And you can tell it's a MIDI message because of this symbol here, the tilde sign. So what I need to do now is to get rid of all of those. Now you can see how many there are. That's just in this one bar here. Multiply that by the number of bars and the different places in the score that has them as well. I'm not going to try and do that manually. So again, I'd go to my advanced filter. Not interested in notes and chords this time. I'm going to go to the text though, and you can see all the different types of text that you can select. Now at the moment, they're all selected. So I'm going to undo this, just to let you see them. And if you decide you want to select any of these types of text, chord symbols, your composer text, anything at all, lyrics in various different lines, or the plain text you may have put in there, anything at all, you can select that there. I'm going to select all text styles though, because I'm not entirely sure what text style those MIDI messages were in. But what I do know is that they all contain that tilde symbol. So I'm just going to say, must contain the tilde. And it will now find all the text with that sign and select it. Like that. I can then just simply delete knowing with confidence I'm not deleting any notes, just the text. And now the playback won't disappear when it gets to the start of the crescendos. That sounds much better. I could then, if I want, run the plugin again and pick some more sensible settings. So you can see that using the advanced filter gives you the option to quickly select a large number of objects and you have absolute detailed control over exactly what it selects. Very, very powerful piece of kit.